here. It's funny because I was like, I feel like I need to do a video. Like I feel it. And when life gives you my life, you find a way that something will come up that you're like, maybe, maybe somebody will find this entertaining. Maybe. You would think that I would know how to do this better. Granted, I've taken a wine class. I'm a wine professional now, okay? I also have drank since I was very young. I'm very good at it, and I know how to do it. <coughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, I got this wine, and my friend just moved, so she doesn't have a wine opener, and so I'm like looking up ways to like get it out. I know the knife one really doesn't work, especially with you know my expertise as a um enologist that's the word thank you paul reed that's my teacher thank you i have a 2017 dry riesling you know pretty sure it's a vintage if you don't know what that means i guess we can't be friends you're just not classy enough so i want to try the lighter thing i think that's like the cleanest way i'm kind of scared so there's seven ways to open it. That that's just the first thing that shows up on my search and crypt. Use a screw, a screwdriver, and a hammer. If if I don't have a wine opener, then I probably don't have a screwdriver and a hammer. Okay. All right. Let's just get that out of the way. Oh, but in Nebraska, that is a different story. Sometimes a lot of people carry hammers and shit around. I know we've been through that. Uh, because one time, actually recently, that night of um, that club situation here, my friend's credit card got stuck in the machine, and I was like, somebody has to have pliers. And guess what? Some guy that worked at Jimmy John's had a huge pair of pliers in his truck, and he pulled out the fucking credit card from the machine. So you never know, but I'm not a Nebraska girl, therefore I don't want a hammer near me. I don't want anything like that near me. No, thank you. So there's this wooden spoon thing. Don't have that. Twist it out with a serrated knife. I know that doesn't work and I don't want to get like the cork in my wine and have it ruin it. Coffee. Slap it with a shoe. I don't even know what that means. Wrap the bottle in a towel and smack it out. What? what? So because of this, let me try this shoe situation because that just seems this so ridiculous. Okay, this is a similar option to towel play. Is this a furry thing that I don't know about? Towel play? Okay. It's a little less ballsy. You similarly wrap the bottom of the wine in a towel, but instead of proceeding to slam it against the wall. What? What? Against the wall, you simply put it upside down between your legs while sitting and slap it with the shoe. This may take a long time, but it's safer than number five. Remember to stop a f What? Honestly, at that point, I was set into a fucking panic. I couldn't handle the confusion. I had to leave immediately and process what I was thinking, and then I came back, but that doesn't matter. Bye. Even though I was dazed and confused, I still decided to... What? Is this even recording? What? Okay, I was recording, but I was dazed, confused. Nothing made sense, but because I'm me, I still decided to do it. And I did look up ponies drinking wine, and I knew I would find something on Google. And... I, I love Google okay. for that. So let me get a towel. Yeah. I guess. Okay, here's the towel. So you simply wrap the bottom of the wine bottle in a towel. I don't know why the bottom would need to be wrapped, okay? Oh, it's like a little wine waver. But instead of proceeding to slam it against the wall, you simply put it upside down between, let's just get some better footage here. Ew. Between your legs 
while sitting and slap it with a shoe. Okay, let me go get a chair. I guess. There's more and more things I'm finding out. Oh. Hi, didn't see you there. It's been a long time. Oh. You don't really get the whole gist. Maybe I should back up. All right, so let me open this. Oh, how's your day going? Really? Me too. Mine's kind of okay. I'm just like stuck in Nebraska for a week. I don't really have anything to do. All I have to do is kind of like put my stuff in storage and just wait to go home. I Everybody's like back in their hometown, which is only 45 minutes away, but it's a sad time. Literally, the population of Lincoln shrinks in half during the summer because it's mostly people who just go to school. Okay, so. <clears throat> if I'm putting the towel on the bottom of the wine. I don't know. Here on out, it was a lot of smacking and looking and looking if there was a difference, and then more smacking and looking, seeing if there was a difference. There wasn't. Um, and then just smacking and smacking and smacking again. Just never ends. <laughs> just kept smacking and just, just kept doing that. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sad. Sad day. We're moving on. This is not working. Oh no, 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 no. Alright, so that's an work. <laughs> Thank you, VinePair.com. Alright, this one I'm scared. Oh, this is applying heat. This is the lighter one. I'm scared. I don't want this to explode in my face. Because that's a thing. If you took wine class, it's a thing. If you have a blowtorch, you can apply heat to the part of the wine bottle right below the cork. The heat should force the cork to move upward eventually out of the bottle. However, make sure the bottle is not cold. We repeat, not cold or else it could explode for rapid change in temperature if it's cold. Well, this is not cold. Should I try it? <laughs> I'm scared. Maybe I should wait for my phone to come back so like if something happens to me, you know, it's not like she'll be here to help me. Or I could just be dumb. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared of fire because I actually have lit my room on fire three times. And this is not a fucking joke. Like fire in my house in my apartment like fucking fire so i have ptsd like literally people could have died but jesus is really on my side and like thank you i i think he has some big things planned for me or something because like the amount of fires um i'll just tell you the story i guess while we're here while we're waiting maybe uh, my friend's gonna be back um, hi it's me from the future Ooh, this is me. Anyways, that story is four minutes long, so I could make that into its own video. Maybe I could find the lost footage of the fire. If that sounds interesting to you, let me know. And if it doesn't, good thing I didn't include it in this.